So we are going to finish up with that fifth example. So a fifth example is going to be a, b to the fifth, all raised to the zero power. So if you notice, each of these have their own power. Okay, each of these have their own power. This has a power of one, which we're gonna talk about here in a second. This has a power of five, but the whole thing is raised to a power of zero. So this still equals one, all right? Now, one thing we need to chit chat about real fast is if you don't see an exponent, if you don't see an exponent, and what I mean by that is if you have, say, a times b to the third, a times b to the third, that a, while you do not see the exponent, that a is its own thing. And b is something completely different. So a's exponent, while you do not see it, is actually a one, and that three is only on the b. That three is only on the b, all right? So let's do another one. Okay, so 4x to the third b. 4x to the third b. Okay, so again, if you look at this, if you look at this, 4 is its own thing. That x to the 3, that 3 is only on the x, only on the x. And then the b is its own thing as well. That b is its own thing as well. So this is kind of like saying 4 to the 1st, x to the 3rd times b to the 3rd, okay? So keep that in mind as we keep going on today. 